Welcome to NHL Draft Pros. Sorry, I was on a little hiatus there, but now we're back and to pump out some videos in the next couple of weeks. In this video, I'll be doing a scouting report on Kevin Korczynski of the Seattle Thunderbirds. And I'll go over his stats and break down game highlights to see what makes him a top-rated prospect for the 22 NHL Draft. Please help support the channel by subscribing and hitting the like button to help us grow. And also, if you go to the homepage and hit the community button, you'll be able to join our community mock draft, which has been a lot of fun. All right, Kevin Korczynski. He is an offensive defenseman who is listed at 6'2", 185 pounds. Now let's look at his draft rankings. NHL Central Scouting has him at number 7 among North American skaters. FC Hockey has him at 7. And Elite Prospects has him as high as number 12. Here's a quote from FC Hockey. Korczynski is an exceptionally mobile and fluid defenseman able to effortlessly move pucks through the neutral zone and join the play from the offensive blue line to help contribute to his team's puck possession. He displays excellent vision with the puck on his stick and able to find lanes to carry the puck. If you look at his stats this past season in WHL, he did really well for a defenseman. 65 points in 67 games. Wow. And 61 assists with four goals. Pretty impressive numbers for sure. And if we look at the points per game for all CHL defensemen, he was second with .97 points per game. So really, really good numbers. And here, if we compare his points per game in the WHL against other current NHL players in their draft year, we can see that his .97 points per game put him right behind Morgan Riley and above Seth Jones. So again, some really nice numbers for a defenseman for this season. All right, here are the advanced stats, and we can see that his points per 60 in all situations is 2.50, really good. And his assists per 60 in all situations is 2.10. His expected goals was 10, so he was minus 6 in that range. So needs to hit the net a little bit more. And his accurate passing was 88%, so pretty good there too. All right, as always, we're going to break down some video highlights and break down his skating, shooting, passing, puck control, hockey IQ, compete level, and what he needs to improve on. So the first thing is his skating. Backward skating is really good. His edges are really good. His forward skating is a little, little different, but he gets the job done. All right, so in this clip here, you're going to see he takes the puck and uh, from the blue line. He shakes off this player here. Really nice edge work, you can see, and then moves it out of the zone. So watch this again. So you can see he's pretty confident with the puck, too, when he has it on his stick. And right here, he just makes a little move there. Boom, tight cut, and out of the zone. So nice little skating there. All right, this one here, you're going to see right off the faceoff, he is going to get the puck here. He's going to take behind the net. Nice little shake right there. Gets that guy off, and then he joins the rush, and he takes it out of the zone for the zone entry. So nice little move there. Like I said, he's pretty confident with the puck, especially in his own zone. So we'll watch this again a little bit slower motion. Uh, right off the draw there, they're going to win the draw, kick it back to him. This is a four-on-four, four, so nice, a lot of room on the ice there to make it. So he makes a little cut there, shakes off that guy, and then he takes a puck here, and he breaks out. You're going to see some other, his, his edge work is basically his big thing. So this one here, you're going to see he's going to take it to the net, take a shot, gets it, and then uh, looks for the open lane. Now watch this. This is him back-checking right now. Boom. So you can see. Like I said, his his forward skating is, I don't exactly know what to call it, but um, he's fast. It's just uh, it's not mechanically kind of perfect, I guess you could say, but watch this. So this is him on the left side of the, of the uh, video right here. So then he puts his head down and he's gone. Nice long stride, though, for sure. Just needs maybe a little bit more bend in his knee there. But overall, like I said, decent skater, especially the edge work. All right, shooting. Oh, my favorite part. So this one here, you're going to see he's got the puck at the blue line here. And uh, he passes off to his uh, partner, and boom, <laughs> it's in the net. Oh, man. Let's watch that again. He's got the stick up. He's ready, and gone. It's in. So, yeah, definitely has a nice lap shot. Um, this one here is edge work. You can see got into the open lane and then just let it go, and it's in the net. So right here he's got the puck, shakes off the uh, forward there, and then comes to the middle, and boom, it's in. Fantastic. I think we got it, yeah, from a reverse angle here. So nice shot. Finds the hole, and it's in. All right, this one here you're going to see. Takes it from the corner and just lets it go, and it's in. So watch this one. Takes it in four and four again, and just zoom. Finds the open net. So nice little wrister here. So like I said, he's got a pretty good shot. And like I said, he only had four goals for a season, but uh, the problem was missed the net a lot. All right, this one here I wanted to show arrow on him. How he takes it to the middle of the net, and then he just lets it go. So, you know, you want a defense that can cross the line or walk the line, as they say. Uh, he's right at the top of the circle here, but he, nevertheless, so you see how he takes it to the mill. So a couple of clips that we showed, he likes to take it to the mill and 
perfect execution there. Again, close up here, so watch. Takes it in, head up, and he puts it right behind the net. Thank you very much. All right, passing. Another strong feature of his play is that he can move the puck, and like I said, that in combination with his edge work. So watch this one. Threads it right through. Wow, what a pass. You're going to see it on the reverse angle right there. Nice pass. I think there's a reverse. Yeah, a little bit close up here. Right through the stick of the uh, defensive player there. And right on the stick of his buddy in front there. And he just makes a nice move to put it in. All right, this one here is out of the picture. But you're going to see he comes in. He gets the puck right here. And he already anticipated that pass. So that was a smart little play there on the power play. So watch this again. You're going to see it in slow motion. He gets it there, and he just dishes it off right away. He knew exactly what he was doing, so he anticipated a play. You like that in a player. This one here, you're going to see, kind of finds the open lane there, and wow, one-timer. So let's watch this again. He gets the puck. He sees where his player is going, and then he just threads it right through there. <laughs> nice pass. What a goal. All right, again, this one here, you're going to see, he's going to kind of like fake the pass, and then he's going to go back to his uh, player there, and they score. So watch this again. You're going to see in slow motion, he kind of fakes it to the, takes two guys with him there. And then dishes it off and they score. So again, nice little fake there. So he fakes it over to his partner and then he slides it back and it's in the net. Puck control. Another strong feature of his play. He's really confident with the puck. So watch this one here. Walks the line. Takes it in. Goes behind the net. Another nice move. Stops. Waits for a player to get open and then slides it. Oh, what a pass. Let's watch it again. So right here behind the net. Waits for his player to get open. And look at that. Right through the sticks and skates. It's in. Fantastic pass. All right, this one here, you're going to see he's got the puck again. Confidence with the puck. Skates it up. Says hello. And they get a scoring chance. A little weak shot there, but nevertheless. So watch how he breaks through the neutral zone here. Deeks out a couple guys. Breaks it in. Another deke. And then puts it on net. Like I said, no traffic. A little weak shot. But nevertheless, the puck control was perfect. So again, takes it across the line. Passes it off. Watch. He's going to get it back again here right here and then makes a little move at the blue line so you know like i said he's got some pretty good puck control all right iq so as usual i'll pick one game and break down some uh, plays that uh, stick out so this one here you're gonna see he gets the puck and uh, he reads the play so he read the player coming at him and he went the other way and made a nice play so let's watch that again so this one here he sees the forward coming behind the net gives himself some time and room and nice zone exit so nice little play there all right, this one here, you're going to see it gets dumped into his corner. So now this is him picking up the puck. Got the arrow on him, and he is going to shake this player off. So watch this. Makes a nice move there. See the edge work, and then they get the, uh, well, it actually falls up, and they get the zone exit. So nice little play there. All right, this one here, you're going to see he's going to anticipate the play again. So again, reading the play, gives his uh, defensive partner an outlet, and then what he's going to do, he's going to follow the play. And he's going to come in and he's going to support, get the puck, wins a the battle there, and then takes his time. Nice little short pass outlet. Those are my favorites. So you know he's got a good head on him when he makes those kind of plays. All right, the compete level. Another good thing is that he's a hard little worker. He likes to take the body. Uh, doesn't give up. So this one here you're going to see pins a guy against the boards. Remember I said defensive play. Defensemen don't have to hammer guys all the time. They can just pin the guy up, separate the puck or the player from the puck, and that's exactly what it does here. And then they win the uh, puck possession at the end of the day. Again, it's all about puck possession. And when you're playing defensively, you need to be able to separate the player from the puck. This one here, he's in the front of the net. And he is going to give this guy the business. Watch this. So this guy here, boom. And he stays with him. He pushes him right off the puck. I love it. Hard work. And then he's going to come in and block a shot. Watch this. That guy right there. So you know what? How's he getting the puck when he pushes him off like that? Fantastic. This is that same play that I showed earlier. You can see his back check. So right there, it's a four on two, basically. And he zips back as fast as he can, really nice, and gets the one player and blocks a shot. So fantastic work right there. Good compete level. All right, the things he needs to improve upon. So like I said, with these players, the offensive defensemen, sometimes they try to force plays. And this one here is going to force a pass, and it gets picked up in the neutral zone there and turned around for a scoring chance. So watch this. So again, you know, probably had some better options, but he tries to slip it across. They intercept, and they get the puck. All right, this one here, you're going to see arrow on him. He is going to leave the guy open there. So you see he's a little puck watching. So there's four guys right there in the screen, two guys open in front of the net. So again, a little puck watching. 
Uh, positional play, needs to prove a little bit on that one. So this one here, again, same thing, a little puck watching. So goes in the corner. Him and the other player go towards the one player. So he gets out of position, chasing guys around. And then you're going to see that he goes towards the one guy on the boards there, and he leaves the guy in front open, and they score. So same thing. So sometimes, you know, simple play is he's trying to do a little too much, and the guy in front gets all alone, and he just loses him. This one here, gap control. So you see the arrows there between the two players, so a little far back, and they break in and score on the breakaway. All right, and so his strengths, the edge work and the mobility and the confidence with the puck, the puck control, really good in his zone. He's good at breaking out. I call the defense the quarterbacks uh, on the ice, and this guy has the confidence to do that, and his passing is spot on too. Some of the weaknesses or work, what he needs to work on, the defensive play, the positioning. Sometimes he gets caught running around, uh, risk management, you know, forcing passes or trying to force a play. And his shot selection. A lot of time he's just shooting from, you know, all angles. At times he needs to, you know, pick his shots a little bit better. And uh, overall, though, great offensive defenseman. He'll probably go top 15 in the draft. We'll see on July 7th. All right, next video, Rutger McGroarty. So we've had a lot of requests for him. And so he should be coming out in a few days, midweek. Look for that. And that's it. So please, again, subscribe and hit the like button to help the channel grow. And that is it for today. Cheers.